Hi, how many of you here have a long distance relationship? Kagpila sa inyo dere, may sikrito kung paano i-maintain ang long distance relationship. I believe nga many of us heard about our friends' experience. Struggling kung paano i-maintain ang ilang a long distance relationship. Especially karun nga panahon, nga ara kita sa pandemic where not everybody is free to travel. Not everybody is free to visit their boyfriend, girlfriend, and even family members. A struggle that those who used to go together, kag first time nila nga magbulag, nga doa, nga doon na, do na mag-uhan sila. And do hindi kabalo kung anhon pag maintain nila relationship, nga samtang wala sila gaupod. There are times nga, Bisang gani isa lang kaadlaw ni ko magkitanay, doa kaadlaw, doa ka isa ka semana, doa ka semana. Damo na nga daw sa gabot sa aton nga huna-huna. Doa ra na ang question of uh, you know, trust. Now, karon nga panahon, I would like to share with you on how to maintain your long distance relationship. It is a question that most people wanted to know the answer. I am very confident to tell you of this because we were once in this kind of situation when my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, and now he's my husband, was in Marshall Island. He was there as a missionary teacher for two years, and I was in Korea for one year. A long-distance relationship is really a struggle. Kaya nga, hindi pa uso so ang Facebook, hindi also ang WeChat. Hindi also ang fastest way of communication. Struggle, and yet we were able to survive. Sa karun nga panahon, how to maintain a long-distance relationship is a struggle of every couple who long to get married. And yet, their plans were distracted, let's say, na delay gamay tungod sa aton nga pandemic and while you are away okay santay mo nigug malayo sa imo i will share to you the secret of how to maintain your long distance relationship that after the pandemic you will be happily uh, meeting together again okay however before mo padayon gusto ko ihambal sa inyo that if long distance relationship won't work it's not all about whose fault. It's sometimes simply because you have a different preferences. Kaya? So may kusyon na tangadaan. If, if ever ang electro ko sa inyo subong hindi mag-work, then it's because you both have different preferences. Says here, many differences aren't about right and wrong. They are simply the result of personal preferences. If you handle disagreements well, they stimulate dialogue, creativity, and positive change. That's according to Sean Caldwell. Way back in 1998, we were together with my husband when we were sweetheart for three years. We loved to see each other every day. We were in the same campus in Mountain View College. Although uh, we see each other just to say hi because we are not allowed to, you know, Sa una nga panahon niya, bawal mag-upod ang mag-uyab. May arat lang ka mo sang the most is uh, three to four times, if possible, mga 15 minutes lang ganina. na. And since we were so busy, uh, we made our, our time as fruitful as we could in different uh, activities. But at least arat lang kami sulod sa kampus, magkitanay lang kami ya. Okay, magkitanay kami sa cafeteria, humang kaon, lakat na. But after three years of being together, say, upo kami sa kampus. And then, Gladio Gulpi, uh, for, for two years, it was really a struggle. But, okay, according to Hans Nguyen's, yeah, in true love, the smallest distance is too great. Kung natuwa ka mo ni Gugmanay, a small distance, siguro may isa ka doon ikong magkita. Ay, dako na ako na na iyang ano. Dako na ako na ng adil. Doon, matyaga mo, doon, saan ako mo ka toyo na nakita na yun. That is true love. That's why my husband before, basta isa kaadlaw, hindi makita half day, worry na na, ano na kaan ang tabu sa iya, no? Okay? If it is true love, small distance, even just an hour distance, it's already a big deal. Okay. However, 
the greatest distance can be bridged. Mm -hmm. In true love, small distance is a big deal. It's a great, it's a great concern to, to address. The greatest distance could be bridged, unlike what we did. When we were far away, we were able to bridge this um, challenge. A new normal. Okay, I'll talk about new normal. Sa karon nga panahon, how to maintain your long distance relationship? Margaret Atwood. There are many uh, famous saying about this long distance relationship, and these are coming from the expert. Sling me Margaret Atwood. I exist in two places here and where you are. Because wherever you are, do ara mo na ko sa tapad mo. Lalo na ko miara, blas ang natawa nga before nag parting each other, may ginahatag nga panyo, so na panyo, okay? Or else pungos, o pungos abi ng lalaki, hatag yung gifts ay yung girlfriend, hairband, and then ano ba yung abi, pitaka, or anything that would cherish that everywhere you go, ma feel mo lang ara lang sa tapad mo, every time makitaan mo ang ginahatag yung sa emo, do ara lang sa tapad mo. So I exist in two places, here and where you are, according to Margaret Atwood. Okay, based on experience, first, maintain long-distance relationship. Know who you do have relationship with. You could hardly maintain your long-distance relationship if you do not know much about your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Know it by means of knowing his family. Balan mo dapat yung family? Are they a kind of family that love and then they cherish their togetherness. Nga kung hindi, mag, hindi magkita, grabe kid, may ginikanan mo na, mamanawag na, mingawun sa mga bata, ya kadali dali lang, dali bala sa mingawun na klasis ng tao. O kung, di asalin sa isa ka family nga, they used to go somewhere, and then, um, naanad lang sila, um, hindi magkita. So, hindi kayo sa mingawun, so hindi kayo struggle para sa iya. Next, background. Balon mo ang background sa isa, sa imong nga boyfriend o sa iya nga mga girlfriend. What kind of uh, life he has, okay? Or she had before you became sweetheart. Ang iya nga ex? Ah. Basta ko na iya nga ex, taga dito lang sila. Okay? Struggle na pag-maintain your relationship. Kaya pwede na siyang ano? Pwede na siyang i- bunyag-bunyagan sa ex niya, abi, hantod nga recalling their past, no? tapos mabuhi lewat, and then ikaw, abi, do hina gawa ka mag, mag water sa inyong relationship, ay, mag-ubagi na siya. So, no, his ex or her ex. Then, next, his social media accounts. Dapat mabalaan mo man, dapat mabalaan mo kung sino mga upod niya, okay, happy ba siya, sad ba siya, Okay? And then, mabala muna, may mga hint sa, ang pa sa, sa mga picture ganito, no? Mag-post na, tapos wala ganito, tapos may upo-upo. Tsaka doon, alos ka na picture, aray nita pa niyang, doon special sa mga niya. Oh, Mag-istorya kami, doon ka na mention niya, ganyan pangalan siya. So, you can have a little bit doubt of that. And if you know that is a hint, then get closer to maintain your relationship. Next, his or her workplace. Balon mo man, ano, kung katrabaho, habis siya dito. Okay? Bisan even before the pandemic happened, there, there are sweethearts who work in different places. Like, you are here, let's say you are in Visayas, your boyfriend or your girlfriend is in, in Manila. You should know the workplace. This is very nice before the COVID even happened. This is applicable, ha? Hindi lang ka sa pandemic. This also, even the pandemic is uh, over. And then, lagyo ka mo, hindi ka mo in the same place. This is still applicable. You go and visit your boyfriend. Oh, girlfriend. Know her friends or his friend. Know, balon mo, ano environment niya dito, kung safety ba siya, kung hindi, ang relationship, safety ba lang. Tapos mabalaan siya, o po, oh, may boyfriend galit siya, o oh, may girlfriend galit siya. And then, kung in case naging pinwala niya, aga pa single-single sa dito, mabalaan mo. Uh, that is dangerous. Okay? Next, etc. Everything that you want to know about your, your, your someone special, dapat balon mo gina siya kung gusto mo i-maintain yung long distance relationship. Kahil Gibran said, 
Ever has it been that love knows not its own depth until the hour of separation. Kaya nga, kung hindi mo ganit mamintin inyo nga long distance relationship, kag magbula gali, dara mo mabalan kung ano mo siya kapalangga kung ang bulang na ka mo. Ah. Yeah. Ever has it been that love knows not its own depth. Hindi mo balang kung ano kadalo mangin mong gugma until the hour of separation. Muna nga, uh, sometimes ang realization bila ulahin na. Late na, tungod kayo lang na, bulag na ka mo. Before mo nabalaan nga, ano, nga lapalangga mo gali siya. Nga listan gali ka pangita. You could hardly find someone to take her place or to come up to the standard. Or, yeah. Kada may checklist ka mo. Ba, ang akun nga ex sa una, amun ni, guapo or guapa, buutan, uh, faithful, outgoing, tanan, checklist. And then, hindi mo na na-value sa mga upod pa ka mo. Karoon nga bulag na. Dapat mo na mabalaan. So, before that will happen, before the Khalil Gibran's uh, thought would happen, maintain your long-distance relationship. Number two, use all means of communication. You are very lucky. Karun nga hinirasyon, you are very lucky because all means of communications are possible to reach your someone special. In our time, it was just a call. You know, my, my, my husband, when he was in Marshall Island, Okay, sa Pacific, he has to he had to travel by barge, makabut sa pikas ng island that is a U.S. base. Pagabut din to and then drag pa sa makatawag ng much cheaper and we can talk as 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 long as one hour. Okay, kaso ano yun? Thirty minutes. Gabi na ko lang fifteen minutes, ten minutes. Uh, it's a very quick message lang din, mahal na kayo, but in that island, it's much cheaper. And then, ano pag snail mail lang ganit sa una? Uh, talk, snail mail, and then uh, when someone comes to the Philippines, he will send love letter. That's the way of communication. So una, Yahoo Messenger. Yeah, but not that much. Karon, use all the means of communication if you want to maintain your relationship. You can call, okay? Sa karun niya, 20 pesos siya, mayara ka na sa 2 days ng unlicol. Sa 20 pesos siya, makakol ka, makatext ka. O, unlicol, unlitext to all network. Hindi ka makasling, ay, sorry love. Ang ako nga pangtawag, pang globe lang yun. Kaya hindi, yun makamos na, kaya mabalang kasi ang yung mga love someone, ano, na it is impossible. You can call, you can text, okay, post mails, you know what, I will tell you. Bisan, also na ang Facebook, also na ang call and text ang post mail has still the bigger effect. Kaya nga man, kaya nagigamitan mo lang sa mga kamot. Kaya ikaw, ginis mo nagsulat. Mas, ang, ang, yung, uh, ang dating sa na, kuan, mas bugat. Okay? Muna nga, bisan birthday or ano yung special, mansari ninyo, muna, it's nice to call, it's nice to text, post sa Facebook, pero lain gid, kumiyara ka sa yung sulat, kaya ginhatag sa yung someone special that will be cherished more. Okay, cards. Padala ka sa card. Okay? Kung hindi pa makapadala pa LBC, then, no? Tawagan mo yung miga o silingan niya. Kaya sabi, di ba? Kailalaan mo yung background. Di ba? Give friend mo na ito yung family, yung schoolmate, yung workmate. You ask that person to call a card, to buy a card, rather, for her. Kagbuta mo din itong, ano, kasi ganun siya, nga mo nga isulat, then ihatag. You see, that would be valued much. Leave a message if you can if you cannot make it, okay? Kung hindi mo may mood, di matak lang sa message. Ano ang message mo da? Langga, amun yung nga time, hindi ko kapadala sa imo sa message. Tungod ka, I will be away. We have a we have a conference somewhere. Okay? Wala sang signal sa nga time. So at least, hindi mo worry ang isa. Avoid cold wars. Next. Anong cold war? Nabarang naglalis ka mo tapos. Wala na si Tol ba? Diyos sa wala lang, pero actually, mo na tawag nga, war, arak lang sa mind. Wala ka mag-isang kita na yun. Pero, wala lang. So, don't do that because that could kill love. Especially kung lagi-agil ka mo. Next, but not too much, call, but not too much. Why? Kung magsigi ka mga katawag, almost every hour ka nakatawag. Okay? Hindi lang ka every hour, bak mo na tawag, after 30 seconds, tawag naman. Though, five times a day, kasamok naman sa iyo mo. Takaan na yung mga friend, yung mga boyfriend or girlfriend. You just schedule your call, okay? Schedule your call. Let's say, once a week, kumahal man kita. Be, understand mo din yung mga palalab. Kumahal man kita. Let's say, uh, darling, manawag ko sa, sa imo every Sunday, ha? 12 o'clock. Or, 
text uh, every other day at least mayroon masang mingaw-mingaw effect ba lang before ano kay kun wala masang butang masang mingaw do kataraka man so excessive call daw possessive ka na do uh, kunun mo tanan niya bisan iya nga tanan nga time do imo na and that is not good that's not a good thing to maintain a long distance relationship matakan because some people want space okay although nga secure ka na secure na kamo sa isa ka gisa you also need space uh, and you have to respect that one okay so use all means uh, means of communication number 3 avoid dangerous situations if you are in a long distance relationship avoid dangerous situations such as drinking with friends na kanang giinom da ah kun mo nga biyang boyfriend hilig maginom o imo girlfriend na biyang may barkada nga hilig maginom avoid that one because many things happen when a person is drunk ah mas nikla ay nga nagburo tawo o kabalo okay so many things happen avoid that one and then avoid entertaining someone hindi ka magsilinga wala sa dress so pwede na bawo ka dumdumog so na paglakas ang boyfriend ko so na wala pa apta sa kasmana may nagpalakit na bla kay mo just aside si si sa ti wala man sa dire pwede kita yung ang kuna ng kita mo dra okay dapat ikaw nga girl kabalo ka man sa imo nga standard indi ka pwede magpadala-dala sa mga lalaki kay once gani wala imo boyfriend ka pwede lang kaligawan bisan maguya pa ka mo sana the trust of that person nga nang legal sa imo indi man as strong because pwede kanya hambalon gisugot mo ganit kung nang wala ka mo kung kita ka nang wala man i believe that you will do the same to other guys so the trust is distracted so do not entertain someone tell everybody nga ano may boyfriend ka o may girlfriend ka Okay, do not act as a single kung may arak as ang someone ng someone somewhere out there. Kaya kung may nakakilala sa small world bala, kung may gama na kalibutan, kasi ang balum na ko nga, ay wala, wala ako boyfriend, wala ako girlfriend, ay, abi mo kung siya lang ginambalan mo, that word will reach to the friends of your someone special and it will reach to her or to him. Di awal na yung kamo, di bulag. Next, hanging out with someone flirting with you. Na, kung balak mo ganon yung makagusto na isa, nakagusto ang someone tara sa imo, somebody tara sa imo. Hindi mo na pag i ano, hindi ka na mapuropod sa iya. Kung mapuropod galeng go as a group, okay? Hindi mo na malikaya, no, di ba? Hindi malikaya. May mga lalaki kung may babae nga sa mtang ulap ka mo kasal, hindi pa na period. So they always have a chance to get you from someone's hand. Oh. So, ay basta kati, hindi pa man ka mo kasalti, pwede pa ta eh. Ay, explore ka man sa iban. Wow, that's dangerous. Kung engage na ka mga doa, and then close door na, although it's not, even before signing of contract, gani, di ba? Pwede pa kakaran away bride. Avoid lang. Avoid hanging someone na ga-flirting because sometimes the near, the sweeter, and then tungod sa kaminga mo sa iyong mga boyfriend, girlfriend, ma- pautuas mong kamingaw sa uh, somebody nga ga-flirt sa imo or ga-court sa imo. So, avoid that one. Next, seeing or texting with ex. Man. Hmm. Ah, wala bitaw na akong boyfriend, wala akong girlfriend, pwede na akong makitext sa akong nga ex. Delikado na siya. Kaya nga naman, there's always uh, a tendency nga mapukaw inyo nga previous. Lalo kung ang imo nga ex abi is seven years ka mo, three years, or five years ka mo, or two years, let's say. Then sa two years, muna mo na itabo sa na. Grabe inyo nga banding, nabulag na ka mo sa little, very unreasonable, uh, let's say, hindi madawat ba lang nga mga, nga, nga mga reasons for you to break up. Tapos na break up ka mo. Uh, tapos na kita ka sa boyfriend mo ni Subong. Compare mo, still, ang ex ni mo is the best. Te, nag-text-text ka mo, kita-kita ka mo, mapukaw, gina, mabalik, gina. So, that is dangerous. You are hurting someone, okay? So, avoid that one. Next, what will you do when your ex will send you a message and say, I miss you? Avoid that one. Ah, ano button mo? Ibo sa, hi, I miss you so much. Can we see each other? Can we meet like this one? Just, just have a chat with our friends. Well, depende na sa mo. Kung kaya mo mag-stand, okay? Then go ahead. Don't close your door. Pro kon luya ka. Better not to go with them. Or mo po dapat mara kasi sa ka friend. Tingnan mo siya. 
hindi ko po biyay, hindi po tarakig sa tapad ko, hindi din sa taga isang chance na makapungko sa tapad ko. Ah. So, ano na siya? Um, if possible, avoid that one. If someone will say, I miss you, say thank you so much. Say thank you, kaya hindi ka magpamaldita, hindi ka magdito, just say thank you. And if possible, don't reply at all. Uh, you know, you know yourself. If you are strong, to stand. If not, avoid. Okay? So those are sample of dangerous situations. Next, to maintain the long distance relationship is to think that distance is just a test of time. It is not permanent. Time will come, you will be together. Kung masaligan mo ganit mo boyfriend o mo girlfriend, samtang uyabana pa lang ka mo, wala sa nitabo while you are away from each other. Pag-asawahay ninyo, in case ma-assign sa layo ng lugar ang imong mga partner, the trust is still there. Kaya nga naman, wala ganit niya kagin binuangan. He is very honest when you were still a girlfriend or boyfriend, sweetheart. The more nga mag-honest pag ina siya kay nag-asawahay na ka mo. Okay? So, distance is a test of time. And if you want to live together, you first need to learn how to live apart. That's one of the famous saying. Sakto na. Gusto ka maupo, dapat mag-learn ay ka mo how to live apart. Okay. It is testing your um, your uh, testing how strong you are. Okay? Sa inyong relationship. Next. See it as a test of your love for each other. Yeah, muna. Um, may aras sa iba nga hindi gid maka hindi ka gwanda sang sang lagyo. Okay? The the test of distance is like climbing up the mountain. Maglisod gid siya. So dapat imo gina siya ano i-overcome. You have to remember that it's just a test for your love for each other. Kay dara mo balaan ko ano kay gugma yung mga ano ka how how your girlfriend love you or your boyfriend love you if you are apart. Okay? Kay kun tutuo gina sa gugma sa imo hindi niya gina siya yung mangita sa iban, bisan lagyo ka mo. There's a Chinese saying that says, real gold is not afraid of the test of fire. So real love is not afraid of the test of distance. Why? Because you trust each other, you know each other well, okay? You, have, you are watering your relationship in a different way of the old means of communication. So distance is just what? A perma, uh, not a permanent, a temporary. So you're like a real ghoul that is not afraid of the test of fire, as the true love is not afraid of the test of the distance. Okay, next one. According to Emma Glee, okay, I would rather be here, far from you, but feeling really close, rather than close to you, but feeling really far away. Ayan. <laughs> Bo. May ara sa iba ng ano. Kung lagyo sila, bo, grabe gid nga no. Grabe gid nga text tawa kay lagyo mo na. So ma feel gid nga do ara lang siya. Kag may ara may iban, na lapit pero do layo kay nga man na ara ka mo tapad date ka mo po message ban sa kamo kapot sa cellphone. So you are you are near and yet so far. Okay? So sa mga true love Distance is just a test because even you are far, you could stand by the test of time. Number five, don't expect too much. None. To maintain a long distance relationship, don't expect too much because the higher the expectation, the deeper the pain. Yan. Mag-asa, huwag kong mag-asa kahit, you know what, ayun eh. Bisan, involved na ang two families, okay? Nagkasabot na na mag-asawahay. Nagsabot na kung diin magtukod sa balay, pila ka baka, ano nga mga dream. Tapos taas taas na ilang mga plano. Okay, three, four, five years is lang mga relationship. The expectation is very high in that. Okay, you expect that you will really what we getting married soon. The higher the expectation, the deeper the pain. Kaya mas mabulag ka mo sa na. Dako ang sakit. Kaya it's not only between you, but between families and friends. 
Another one, both of you need to be clear with what you expect of each other during this long distance relationship. I expect you to call me every morning. I expect you. I expect you to text me. I expect to be faithful. I expect you to pray with me at the same time. So na kami sa akong boyfriend when he was in Marshall, I was in the Philippines. And before before I went to Korea, I was teaching in Davao City. My time gig kami nga magampo. Bisan diin siya, bisan diin man ko. We had agreed to pray at six o'clock in the afternoon. So that is that's we expect from each other that we have to pray for a relationship and plan for the future. Okay? So honest, dapat honest ka. Okay, communicate what you expect from him or from her. Kung subang ka kasi loso, pwede ko masang balon nga, ga-expect ko nga hindi kasi ko post na yun. Don't show, hindi ka din mag-post sa Facebook, ma-upload ka mo, nag-hang out, mawala ang trust ko sa'yo. So you have to tell. Next, set the standard. Stop expecting others to show you love, acceptance, commitment, and respect. Okay? When you don't even show that to yourself. Again, set the standard. Stop expecting others to show you love, acceptance, commitment, and respect when you don't even show that to yourself. So, ano, oh, yeah, come on, sinis, imo ka guling. Oh, grabe ka mag, ano, demand sa imo ng opod, pero you don't show that to yourself. You want someone to respect you, but you don't respect yourself. That is difficult. Okay? Do you don't want someone to hang out with somebody with his ex or with her ex pero ikaw ang mumanggali. So ano na siya? That's not good. Judy Picot Over said there were two ways to be happy. First, improve your reality and then or lower your expectations. Huh? Lower your expectations? Buta mo gina sa mind mo bisang gani nga uh, um, buwas kaslo na ka mo. Okay? Nyara, gya po na sa damo, gya po sa'y kitabo itong kay, there's still doubts in between, especially when you are far away. Number six, stay honest to yourself, okay? To maintain a long distance relationship, you have to stay honest to yourself. What is that? Be honest with your feelings. Kung hindi ka na, you know what, amun yung delikado, Kung five years, six years, seven years ang muna mong dubyanay, magyahanay, kagda wala kayo plano, tapos ang isabi, iyang uh, love language is quality time or or touch, gawa, laan ang feeling sa na mga igsoon. You are sweetheart only by name, but by the feeling, wala na, gafade na na siya. Okay? And, this is true as I tried to um, interview other people who have this Long relationship, even eight years na gabulag. Ano naman gakawala? Muna nga at the height of the relationship, usually ano na three years to four years as a wife na kamo. Kaya ano magobian do super ano man. Well, others, the more they they stay longer, the love grows. It depends to someone. Another one, share your fears and worries. Know yourself. You know, you know what you fear, what you're afraid of. So, kamu sa bawah, so una bala na kagi kumu nga amu yapun ni gini mo sa akun ng ex. So, I am worried. I am afraid that this will happen sa atun nga doa. So, you have to share. Parang maawin man yung mga mga boyfriend or girlfriend. Next, don't hide something even a single text. May boyfriend gani ka mo. Ngayon, hindi ka na mapahulam sa cellphone. Delikado na. Kung may girlfriend gani ka, hindi ka mapahulam sa cellphone. Delikado na. There's a secret there. Oo, kag, caution. Bisan wala mang kasandaut, Okay, hindi magisubra ang kadelikado, let's say siguro no. You have to respect also the privacy. Although boyfriend mo siya or girlfriend mo siya, not all the time nga you own everything of her. Okay, you can borrow the cell phone and check and she can show you, but do not make it as her property as yours. Kasi bisan ganin mo minyo minyo na kamo kasal na kamo. Your husband's wallet is his, that is still a private, okay? Even the cell phone, even um some something around in your house that you do both own you have to you you have to respect privacy okay make sure lang uh, ikaw mismo ikaw ya sa imo 
wala ka sa ginatago. Okay, you're not hiding from your boyfriend or girlfriend. Next, ay bang ganina, tagtaktoy lang ang SIM card. Ang isa pang girlfriend, ang isa pang boyfriend, ah, pang, pang workmate, ang isa na, ah, depende sa mo. Okay, yara man sa ibang gusto lang ang mag-abot nga text nga muna para nang ganyan sa girlfriend ko. Okay? Next, if someone is texting you, tell your partner na si ganun mo, langga, may ga-text sa ako na mo sa inyo. Kasi noon eh. Mm. So si ganun mo man, may ga-pang luyag sa ako. Nambalun mo man siya. Parang nga, uh, kabalun man siya nga, no? Nga you also have the struggle when you are away. para makabalo man ka. Nga ano po, nga yung mga boyfriend, may ara man. Sabo, may isa akong boyfriend sa una. May husband now. I know nga, lapitunon na sa chicks. Ah, nga panugid man na siya. Di ako mo man, lapitunon man sa mga guys. Nga panugid man po siya. So at least, we, we know. We know our strengths. We know our weaknesses. We know what is happening. Ano, muna nga, gapray kami. Kay para nga, despite of this, the temptation around, we are still strong. Okay? Lalo na sa una, baw, kadatawag, may masingit na nga, ah, ginaampo naman, magbulag ka mo. Oh, damos lang ampo nga magbulag kami. Uh, pray lang ka mo. So, it's something like, Let's see whose prayer is stronger. <laughs> and thank God our prayer is stronger. Okay, wala man yapon. Taagin ang bulag ang pansabong. We were boyfriend and girlfriend. We were sweetheart for five years before getting married. Okay, next. If you're jealous, tell your partner. Na, normal na may away-away ka man. Kaya kung di ka man jealous, ang may connotation na sometimes if you're not jealous, that means you don't care. Your love is less. Okay, the more you love the person, the greater the jealous, no? Although, do gina dinay dinay ginagmay, pero may harap, masilo sa ginsa na ka naman. What, you don't want to share what you have, what you, what you own. It's yours. Imo na boyfriend, imo na girlfriend, pwede pa share mo sa iban. Ma-boyfriend man siya. Bawag bilib ko sa, manakitaan ko sa una sa Cavite kami. We were in Cavite for four years. Isa to ka-friend naman, iya nubiya taplo. Di mangkot ko. Does your girlfriend know that you have another girlfriend? Yeah, you know, they know each other. <laughs> Kilala na yun sila yan. Yeah? Tatlo sila sa isang kalalaki. Wow. So, teka, una sila nga, hindi ta ka pag-ilisan. Hindi ka magkabala ka, darling. Hindi ta ka pag-ilisan. <laughs> Dugangan lang. Ah, dekala na. Dugangan talaga. So, tatlo sila. Yeah, they're jealous, of course, pero ang ilang... Uh, hindi man nila gusto biyaan mo. Ang isa, Tisha, hindi mo gusto. Okay lang, bahala maghanap ka na ibawag mo na akong iiwan. Wow, that's terrible. Dangerous na. Pag mag-asawahay ka mo na, agoy, ma-practice siya na ihapon. So, don't do that. Next, if your love is getting cold, tell your partner. Huh? Tell your partner, ganun mo lang ka, doon ka wala akong gugma sa iyo. Huh? Ikaw man niya, ako nakabati ka sana, hindi pa siya nga man. Kita na kada, nga aman, rarararar, magyaw-yaw na yun ka. No. If your partner is very honest that ang imo nga love ga, gabog now, dapat pangingitaan mo sa pamagay nga mag-hot the what. Ha? Ibalik mo to sa unang nga panahon kung gi, paano mo ginpa-hot ang inyo nga relationship. Hindi kay dakdakan mo sa dahil. Sa mo't kabog now. Bog now. Ngayon mo na na siya. Mag-cold. Tapos, ma, ano, ma-defrost. Matubig na. Wa na na. Gianod na da yun. So, Be honest. Okay, you tell. Kag kunin mo nga friend maghambal sa imo, you do your best. Hambal mo mangkot. Hindi mo sa mangkot on. So what do you want me to do para nga hindi ka mabugnaw? Yung mga feelings sa akon. Then you have to tell also. Okay? Next, if you need a break, tell your partner. Oh, na-artner na ni. Partner na siya. If you need a break, tell your partner. Mayara sa iban nga, labi na ko ng do-possessive na ang pagkatawag. Sa muka na bila siya. Dugay-dugay lang tawag, dugay tawag. So, disturbo na sa family. Disturbo na, dubla na kayo sa privacy ang mga darling. Or ikaw, pwede ka, can we have a break? Okay. Ang tawag na sa ibang, cool off. Or, ang tawag na sa, basta mo na siya, let's have a break for one month or two months. Pag hindi ka na siya, ano, hindi ka na siya mabunyag-bunyagan, matotally break up na siya. So, If you're in a long distance, okay, relationship, you could ah, you could have a break for a moment. Kung kapag ayok gin siya, let her realize that you are important. Kaya kung kung magbreak, yeah, if you're asking for a break, then dia mo ma-realize pang isang ah, ay palanggak ko galik, ay ko ang galik, wala galik sa makalabaw siya. Kaya hindi mo na mabalang pang isang mong 
kon upod ka mo, da mo ma-value kung wala na siya. So, give him a break. Hindi mo pagpugson because if you love someone, you let her what? Let's set her free. Freedom is one way of showing that you love. Okay, next. Number seven. Manage your language of love. Ayan. Don't demand time when your partner is honestly busy working for your future. Problemas na. Ang sa imo. Ang imo nga love language is uh, quality time. You want your partner, okay? To spend quality time with you. Gusto mo, may istriyari mo one hour. Now your friend is, ano, busy working for your future. Di, dapat, ano ka man, hindi ka mag-demand so much. You have to understand. You have to manage your language of love. Okay? Next, if your language is uh, receiving gift, then, lagyo ka mo, and then, wala na trabaho because of this pandemic, the work has stopped, and then, LBC cannot deliver something like a gift for you, for your monthsary. Don't demand gift when Shopee and Lazada can't deliver it. So, manage. Control yourself. Okay? If you want uh, to maintain your own long-distance relationship, you should know how to control yourself as well. Next, don't just wait to be served. Learn how to serve also. Amunin siya ang tao nga gusto. Ayang language blah. Serve. Servisyohan siya. Magdako ay agugma kung ginaservisyohan siya. Ah. Now, kay long distance man ka mo, don't long for that to be served. Rather, you learn how to serve other people. Ah. Learn how to serve your boyfriend. Ikaw na po ba serve sa iyan? In what way? Nang gaano ka po, ikagat na, ano, ano ginobra mo na sa kuang na, I can type for you. I can do this for you. Because you love to, to hear someone saying that to you. So do that to somebody. That would help you manage your love language. Next, physical touch. Now, manage. If your physical touch, hindi ka nika holding hands, hindi ka tap on the shoulder in mga boyfriend or girlfriend, then you have to remember that you are in a coverage, out of coverage area. <sighs> okay? Then a conversation should be honest as well. Dapat, honest, hindi ka maghambal nga ba? Kung guwapas, naging post mo na, kung pangit-pangit nila. Okay, now, further. Uh, I would like to share with you shortly about the five languages, five love languages, The Secret to Love That Last by Gary Chapman. Okay. In five language, the language number one is the words of appreciation. You know, ang minsyo, this is a bunch of five languages. Na minsyo ko na na, but ang ito is how to maintain, okay? And how to back up. Ang karon is to understand more if this is yours. Words of appreciation is one language of love. And it says here, actions don't always speak louder than words. If this is your love language, unsolicited compliments mean the world to you. Para nisa sa itong mga wala kabalo, kano yung language of love? Hearing the words I love you are important. Hearing the reasons behind that love sends your spirit skyward. And souls can leave you shattered and are not easily forgiven and forgotten. Na! May mga tao ganyan, ganyan, dumadumtanon, gawas ang ipahambal mo doon, ano. So, tanang nga mga 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 that's how powerful that tongue is. It could bring life or death. An encouraging word cheers a person up. So those who have the words of appreciation as the language of love, encouraging word is enough. Kung lagyo ka mga doa, just say an encouraging word, a cheerful word that would nourish your relationship. Number two, Quality time, okay? Basta wala ka balo, quality time ngali yung mga language of love. Quality time could be defined as time dedicated exclusively to building a stronger relationship with family members or friends. Na, sa mga hindi kayo makaintindi sin eh, makasiling ka nga, 
Oh, pun pun tak perminti. Si pika di mana, di wala Japan. You know what? When you say quality time, it's not about one whole day that you're together. It's about even just one hour for one day. Kung ang focus niya ikaw, Gid, or ang focus ni mo siya, Gid, that is already quality for her or for him. It's not about the amount, quantity. No, it's about quality. Kalau ngayon nga pandemic, ha? It's a blessing for the family. Okay? Because they could spend time together. However, because of the gadget, they were just in one house. They were just in one house for two months. But the time they shared together is not quality because each of them has their own way of making their time. Okay? A fruitful for them but it's not a quality as a family because they seldom eat together they seldom talk together so the time they share during pandemic is not that quality see so quality time is very important so kung long distance ganit tawagan mo ganit siya mas tingin siya nga langga i will call you at six o'clock in the evening six o'clock what time five to six now five to six iya lang gina hindi ka gusto ay tiba na ha nang madayal ko liwat kay uh may nag text Ma interruptionan ganina, it doesn't sound quality time anymore. So pag magsabot ka mo sa inyo long distance relationship, the time that you agreed together, let's say twelve o'clock or one o'clock, iset ni mo ang time na duwala ka sa disturb. What time ni mula ka yung disturbo? So let's say alas jee sa aga, okay? Or alas nubi, kaya mata ka bi alas siete, alas otso ng labak na tanan, hindi man alas onse kaya tingin luto, so alas nubi alas jis na, so you have to turn off your other cell phones, okay? And you go to somewhere you can talk together and talk about your future and your plan and the the kung kamusta na imo ng friend, ano nasa? Ang tawo sa quality time, I tell you, bisan one hour na ang registro nga kamugin nga doa, nga no interruption. Matsagang is not though isa na kasimana ka mong nag-istoryanan. And you satisfy your girlfriend or your boyfriend, I tell you, your long distance relationship is not a distance, but it's just like someone here standing or sitting beside you. Okay? As God spends his time 24-7 with you. See? Same thing. Um, let us spend. Uh, this is just a reminder, ha? Huh? Besides, sa atong ganit ng mga Christian, when we go to church, God wants also a quality time from us. That even we go to church, ang atong nga time, hindi pig quality sa gino, kay for seven days, six days we have only one day for God. Okay? God is asking for Saturday as the only day for Him. At this time, don't do any work. Okay? Not even your, your, your helpers, not anybody in the house. This is a time for God, okay? And God is jealous. God doesn't want na iya nga tayo mabuhinan pag sa ating worldly things. So, spend quality time with God in one day, whole day. Iya, ganas ang ginoo. Sa atong boyfriend or girlfriend, may quality time kita. Kini nga one hour, bisa one day. Let's say, Sunday, abe. O, kamuna din nga dua, chat ka muna. O, tapos wala communication for six days. Sunday lang, uh, or Monday lang, Tuesday lang, depending sa nga time. That is what, a very good uh, way of maintaining your long distance relationship. Then, call and say, I love you. Know what he or she is up to and affirm. Okay. Musta ka, hindi, siya gid, siya gid ang focus. Kamu gid na doon focus in your future when you talk. Okay. Next, remember, that negative words or insulting comments can can cut deep and are not easily forgiven. So, samtang ka mag-istro yan, ay, careful kasi mong ginapanghambal mo. Kaya ikaw man, kabalong mga kasamang weakness na kung makahambal mo boyfriend or girlfriend, abi, dali ka masilo, dali ka ma, ano. Dapat, i-adjust mo man, it's not all the time perfect yung mga friend, na tanan na lang hambal positive. Di ba tayo sa kahambal sa makahurt sa'yo mo, then you have to forgive as well because he or she is not perfect. Okay? Next, love language number three is receiving gifts. Okay. Don't mistake this love language for materialism. Isa ni ha? May ibang nga... Grabe na yung mga nubi ha? Dapat regaluhan mo yun siya? Dapat, eh, kundi mo na regaluhan ng aking siya? Mabulag na yun? Kamateralistic man? No. 
hindi na siya materialistic. Ang murang ginaiyang ways of love, receiving gifts, is not how much you give, it's not how many, it's, it's the sincerity of giving is very much valued and much appreciated. Siya, the receiver of these gifts thrives on the love, thoughtfulness, and effort behind the gift. Ah, uh, siya? Ma-appreciate gini sa mga friend. Now, karong kay long distance ka mo, ano lang na? How could you nourish your girlfriend or boyfriend's language of love? Simply, you have to what? You have to call someone. Let's say, say yeah, bang aluga, may friend ka dito, di ba? You can call that friend. Can you buy for me a flower for my girlfriend? Can you buy for me a gift? Kay birthday niya buwas, mansari namun, okay? Uh, gusto ko lang mabalaan niya nga I love her so much and remember her so much. So tawagan mo mga friend and buy. And then ipakita na sa friend mo, amun eh, okay lang niya hatagan ni. Napagbuta kang gisip pangalan from you. And then hatag sa iya. And then ma-appreciate na sa mga friend because she will say, wow, bisan lagyo, gapangita, gay sa pamagi. Amun na tawag nga thoughtfulness. Ginahuna-huna, yagid gali ko. That will be very much appreciated. Bisan sa dahon na sa papel ko, let's say, dahon, nabi, butang sa I love you, atag. Okay? It's about the effort behind the gift and that shows love and thoughtfulness. Another one? If you speak this language, the perfect gift or gesture shows that you are known. You are cared for and you are prized above whatever was sacrificed to bring the gift to you. A missed birthday, anniversary, or a hasty, thoughtful, thoughtless gift would be disastrous. Nah. So it would be the absence of everyday gestures as well. So, ang imong nga... Ang imong nga gina imo gina pakita nga mga lihok okay mga effort dapat pakita ang gin sa imong friend sa imong boyfriend that will be very much appreciated okay mo siya ask someone near her to buy your gifts for her James 1:7 said every blessing is a gift from God just like God okay every blessing that we have the rain the free air you know what um ang ang isa ka tanking oxygen sa hospital mal mahal bala mo okay may isa ka tao to na hospital siya 78 years old bala siya 78 pila ka tanking ubos na kabisa 500 thousand okay tising niya sa pila lang to kasimana or adlaw tako dako tisubong tising niya grabe ako na utang sa ginoo halin pagamay ko hantu subong hindi ko mabayaran ang ginoo sa iya ng gifts sa ako na ah. So every blessing is from God. Every blessing we receive is a gift from God. The the gestures behind it shows that God is very thoughtful of us. But tagi kwaan sa hangin. So wana siya sa long distance. Call, ask somebody to buy for her or for him. A meaningful, thoughtful person makes them feel appreciated and treasured despite of the distance. Okay, language number four. Acts of service none anything you do to ease the burden of responsibilities weighing on acts of service a, a person will speak volume and the words he or she most want to hear is let me do that for you uh, let me do that for you because laziness broken commitments and making more work for them tell speakers of this language their feelings don't matter. Now, kung long distance, paano na lang ini? Okay? It is very difficult when you are far from each other. Why? If someone near him or near here, piminti gambal, tabangan ta ka, ako bit-bit sana. Okay? Nakita ako doon, list na kagit ba, bibis aka, nagkakahoy, sa uban ta ka, I will care for you. Wow! That is very dangerous. Ikaw man, okay, as ang bagay nina, kung amun ni mo ang acts of service, someone is spurting you, someone is filling in your language of love, remember that you can still maintain a relationship with your boyfriend or girlfriend by doing acts of service to other people. Okay? Ikaw mag-act of service to other people, hindi ka dali mo pahigugmas ang tao nga ga-act of service sa'yo mo because sometimes they take 
you know, may amas ang tabi ng tanong man. Kabalo na gaya nga may nobyo ka, mukab in siya sa between sa inyong relationship. Dapat mahulat na siya, no? Kamag sila nga, hulatong ko, magbulag ka mo, and then, before ko mo come in. And that person she'll suspect. So, kung, kung, kung sa ako na ba, may nobyo ako, tapos, kabalo na gaya may nobyo, tapos makikam in, ang iba sa term lang, makisaw-saw, oh, that's difficult. Though, uh, ang respect mo sa nga tao, doon hindi kayo high. Okay. He must respect your relationship. He must value and he must feel na kung sa iyan ay moon, paano na lang. Mm. Action speaks louder than words. Oh. Na. So kung lagyo ka mo, hindi lang kay hambal, okay? Hindi lang kay hambal, you have really to do it. Now, paano? For example, in mga friends, she is working outside. She's working, uh, she's a secretary, she's a pastor, she's a teacher, she's a whatever. May ubraho na bi siya sa laptop, magdaamo sa typhoon. How can you maintain long-distance relationship by by nourishing the acts of service as the love language of your partner? You can say, let me do that for you. Ipadala sa akong anong gusto mga typhoon ko, ako type. Mm. May drawing mo, nung kada ako drawing. Ah. Di ba saan lagyo ka mo? You are doing an act of service to her that will be very much appreciated. Okay? So, nga, bilang nga, may lecture ko sa nga time, oh, can you make for me a lecture? Okay. Can you ask, can you give me an illustration? Okay. That is one way of helping. Okay? It's not always nearing someone mapakita mga service because you can do service even you are uh, not together. Number five, physical touch. Uh-huh. This language isn't all about the bedroom. Okay, hindi na ba sa parko lang? A person whose primary language is physical touch is not surprisingly very touchy. <laughs> so may tao yung very touchy, no? Maghambal bala, manguhit, get? Kuan ba? Kuhito na get ka to get your attention? Uh, attention seeker? May iba nga, no? Pag pick-pick, uh, when they do that, most probably because that is their love language. Um, Hugs, pats on the back, okay lang na, ipat na likod, holding hands, ang mag-hold sa hands and this like a flirt. It's just a one way of, ano, of uh, saying that I feel love, I feel secured when you hold my hands. Uh, and thoughtful touches on the arm, shoulder, or face, they can all be ways to show excitement, concern, care, and love. Physical presence and accessibility, accessibility are crucial. Na. While neglect or abuse can be unforgivable and destructive. May iban nga uh, kung upot lang gani. Okay? Dugas lang nakita. At kaya physical touch ang iyang alam ng gusto. Upot. Gina, gina, ano niya, gina abuse niya. Be careful because ang mga tao whose language of love is physical touch, they can determine whether your touch is an abuse or just a showing respect. Okay? Pwede maka maka ano, pwede ka maka uh, pat sa shoulders sa mga boyfriend or girlfriend or holding hands na wala sa ano, wala sang abuse nga dala. Ma-feel mo na niya, ma-feel mo na. May iba nga nga agbay-agbay lang friendly, okay? May alam iba nga pang agbay nga may may lustful desire. So if that will happen, that is very unforgivable and very destructive to your relationship. Hindi ka gin mag-take advantage kung muna sa physical touch ang ano, sa mga friend, ang iyang love language. Now, if you're in a long-distance relationship, how can you, how can you maintain this relationship when the love language of your boyfriend or girlfriend is physical touch? Okay. Maybe you could ask someone to buy for her or for him a teddy bear. Okay, teddy bear somebody to hug, uh, someone, okay, a thing to hug, rather. Kung gano'n mo siya, kung may ngawang gani ka sa akon, i-hug mo lang na ang uh, teddy bear. Kung may ngawang gani ka sa akon, kaptan mo lang ng panyo yata ko sa inyo. Just touch and put on your breast the cell phone that I gave you or the clothes or what. Now, there's something to touch, okay? Your girlfriend, there's something your girlfriend, boyfriend to touch for your uh, for him or her to remember you. That's one way to maintain your long distance relationship. Okay. Or besides the cell phone, Abi, put the, ano, put the cell phone on your hand and imagine that this is my hand holding you. Uh, on your cheeks, uh, I'm kissing you goodnight. Oh, uh, 
ang mga new normal way, okay, of sending physical touch to your boyfriend or girlfriend. Hey, most difficult. Why? The physical touch, however, is most difficult because if someone you're satisfied with her language, tipo ka game. Pero ikaw man, ikaw man nga boyfriend or girlfriend, kung amuha ni imong language of love, gain nati, gain nato is when you're someone special, kung iya nga love language is physical touch, amu to buhaton mo. Karo naman, kung ang imo na physical touch, ang imo na language of love, ano buhaton mo? Dapat aware ka. Remember mo, nga ano, Uh, your boyfriend is far away, out of coverage, and he cannot do this one for you. So, kung anong gift ang gihatag sa mo, you just touch that one, and you imagine that he is touching you, or she is touching you. One way of showing that you love. Okay? Another one. Appropriate touch makes them feel safe and loved, for nothing speaks more deeply than appropriate touch. So, we say appropriate, don't go beyond the border. Okay? If you go beyond the border, then, and if that girl is very Let's say conservative. Ah, pada out in your relationship. Okay. By understanding others' love languages, you can start to remove barriers that exist between you even in a distance. That's all. Amulan na, amulan na inum dumanta. Na kung intindihan mo mo love language, intindihan mo ang iya ng love language, the distance that exists that serve as barrier. Okay, between you cannot hinder your relationship. Okay, dapat creative kita sa a new normal way of maintaining a long distance relationship. D King said, "Love will travel as far as you let it. It has no limits." So, san lagyo ako niya? Kasi san may pandemic kag sa wala, may COVID kag sa wala. Kung long distance in your relationship. Your love can travel. Okay, it has no limit. Kaya makita mga ganon ang Japan kaya Pilipinas, de ba? Yara kani ga sa wahay mga ganon pa sa US, na North Pole, abi kag South Pole. Makita pa ganon. Kamo pang albid in the Philippines, sa sabi sa albid in the Philippines, love can just travel. It has no limits. Just know your, just be honest with yourself and remember what I had just told you. Nicholas Sparks said, "I fell in love with her when we were together." Then fell deeper in love with her in the years we were apart. Why? Because the more you are distanced, the more you value each other, the more that you miss each other. Okay. Charles Dickens says, The pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. Kiko lagyo kamo, na maintain your relationship. Ang kasakit ni ni kung magkita, do so wala la na. Matabuna na sa isang kalipay kung magkita na kamo liwat. Okay. So, according to my husband, Rafael Caradusco, he said, new normal does not make love old. Okay? It makes normal love new. Why? Because even your distance, you can still maintain. Again, new normal does not make love old. It makes normal love New because you have a new ways to maintain your long distance relationship, and because of that, okay, I sa mga lipayan ko sa ako ng ex boyfriend, ham yes man now, is even we were distance for two years. He did everything, and I cooperate. We all both cooperated. We did a lot, and we 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 did all the means of communication and all the technique that we could to maintain our long distance relationship and we ended up in the church and we were together. And so, muna nga, ang ibang, sa mga college life bala, okay, sa mga nubiyuhanay, nga college, dire pa sa campus, grabe ka close-close, katama, daw may stick gloss lang na doon, hindi mabulag, hantong nga patawag na lang sa guidance office, kaya sa ano, madimiritan ka na lang. Um, You when you were together, tapos pag pandemic, ah pag bulag, bulag na ang tawas na sa ona samon till gate do us part. Kaya kano man pag gawa sa gate sa campus, bye bye, bye bye na ala na bulag na after two years, after one year, months bulag na. So um for us, na I could share this to you, ah with confidence because this is our experience. That despite of the two years uh, long distance relationship, for five years of relationship, three years together, two years far apart, 
five all went up in the church because we include God also. Okay? Uh, bahala na maripatan yung iba siguro sa ginhambal ko gina. Just remember this one. That God is one of the reasons that we were together again. God, our love to God is the reason that we are afraid mahadlo kami mag-deceive sa among fellow. Because even we are far apart, even though I cannot see him, what he's doing, he cannot see what I am doing. You cannot see each other what you are doing in secret. Remember that God is there looking at you. Gatanaw sa imo, sobra pa na sa CCTV camera. God is looking at you whether you're honest or not. Okay? If hindi ganit ka honest, God will make a way. Maybe that will break up your relationship. Kung hindi man siya honest, Okay, hindi mo maintindihan nga nag-break ka mo. That's because maybe God saw that He is not honest to you. So He is not worthy of you. So God will just break up your relationship. But if you are both honest, seeing God as the center of your relationship, God is the center, you go to God, He will go to God, you meet each other, then that's, uh, that will be ended in happily ever after. Okay, so magwapo ang yung relationship, hantun nga end ka mo sa church. So of all the language of love, of all the techniques, remember that include God in your relationship. Una, my prayer time give kamo. Nga magsabot kamo. Every 6 o'clock, every 10 o'clock, you will go to a certain place and pray purely only for your relationship. Okay? So after we were married, we went to, we enjoy. Because, you know, tawag sa nga, the, the pain of parting is nothing of the joy that you, when you meet together again. So, two years lang kami nakikita. Pagkita ang munti, sige, hagop-hagop ka tama. So, pag minyo, and then we went to China for a missionary again. And we went there for for a year. Okay? Dito kami nag-honeymoon na sa China. Uh, Lipay-lipay na kami kasi siyempre two years lang kami nakikita. Then, kasanang lakat. Honeymoon in China. So, uh, for you, okay? I would like to share this with you. The couples miss pa. Genesis 31, 49. May the Lord keep watch between you and me when we were away from each other. This could be your prayer, okay? Amunigid, nga, always include God. Remember Genesis thirty-one forty-nine. Your prayer would be again, may the Lord keep watch between you and me when we were away from each other. So that's all. Uh, I hope that miara kamusang. Uh, and may that will God bless you. May that those uh, couple who are far from each other, even before or after this pandemic, apply this one. And I believe, let's say 90%, I believe.